welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Danielle and my lipstick is like halfway off. Um, I'm going to do a, a random video, something that literally just happened this early this morning. Um, my freaking toe hurts. So before we get into the little story time, let me tell you another quick story time. So the other day I was like, oh, let me go get a pedicure. It's been a while, like since I've had one, I just want to relax, whatever, whatever. I went to a place by my house. I've been there once before. Um, they're less expensive than the place that I usually go to. And sometimes you shouldn't cheap out because I freaking, my toe got infected after I got a pedicure. So then get this because my toe started hurting on Monday. So on Tuesday, I went up there. I think it was Tuesday when I actually went back up to the nail salon and cause my toe looked red. I'm like, um, so I went up there and I let them know I was here like two days ago. I got a pedicure. My toe feels infected or something. Like I, it feels like there's a lot of pressure. Like, can you guys check if you left half the toenail on there? Like I'm pregnant. Okay. I'm 28 weeks pregnant. I can't see that angle of my foot because my body doesn't turn that way because it's on the right hand side and they were like no no like you didn't come here they first they tried saying like I didn't go there then they tried saying like the girl who did my toes is not there because nobody took responsibility like for who actually did my pedicure and of course like I didn't get her name and then after that they tried saying oh well no maybe your toe looked like that before you came in maybe you already had it and I'm like bitch I would know if I already had it what you mean like my foot freaking hurts like I don't know so that kind of puts us into today's story sorry if the sun like it's like right here if I do this like you can't see me so it is what it is so I slept over my parents house last night because I had like a nail appointment today and I needed to like whatever I had like appointments today on this side of town so I slept over my parents house so um I slept over my parents house on the couch and usually I'm fine. If I sleep over on the sofa, it's totally fine. But you know when you're pregnant, you have to get up to use the restroom a bunch of times. So around four in the morning, I got up and I went to sleep. Usually I'm I'm still up until four in the morning, but because I knew like I had like a, an early appointment, I went to sleep at a decent time. And by decent time, I mean, I went to sleep at one in the morning. So around, oh, this thing is blinding me, around four in the morning, I woke up to go tinkle and then I could not go back to sleep because my toe is freaking killing me. Not only was my toe killing me, but it was hot, like hotter than the devil's you know what <laughs> like I couldn't think of anything clever to say it was just hot in my mom's house and I'm like dude like why is it so hot down here and um it like it didn't make any sense so I went to like the thermostat to try to turn the AC on and I'm like trying to mess with it and the AC is not turning on because apparently my dad has it set up where it's like on a timer and you can't mess with it from the thermostat like you have to have the app maybe if I sit up I'll be taller anyways um so I was miserable so they had like a little tiny fan like a little desk fan right there so I literally plugged that desk fan in and put it right in front of my face like sleeping like on the couch because it doesn't give any air and then because it's all dusty like my allergies start acting up so I really can't go to sleep at this point like my toe is throbbing I'm hot I'm freaking sneezing now and all stuffy and runny and everything that you can think of. So I'm really not going to sleep. And by this point, it's like 4.15. Like I'm so dramatic. All of this happened like in a 15 minute time frame. And I hear like footsteps, like my parents have hardwood floors. So like, you know, when somebody's walking, you can hear it creaking. So I hear that and I assume that it's my dad because he goes to work pretty early. I don't think anything of it. And, um, so like I hear like the footsteps, but it's like I hear the steps in the wood, but I don't actually hear the feet, if that makes any sense. So I'm hearing like, you know, somebody come down the stairs and then in the kitchen, I hear cabinets like the cabinets were all shut, but I hear them shutting like I hear the cabinets shutting. I don't hear them opening. I hear them closing like. Like it was weird, like I can hear them, but I'm not hearing anybody open them. So I take a peek over and assuming that it's my dad who's like trying to be quiet, I was gonna tell him like, yo, I'm already up. Like it doesn't matter, you know? Nobody is there. 
my dad is not there and I'm like what the hell like it was so clear like somebody was in the kitchen and messing with the cabinets like not I like again I didn't hear them open like I didn't hear the creak open I just heard them close and it was like it sounded like every cabinet like it went from cabinet to cabinet and my parents like have a lot of cabinets they have maybe two on this like the left side of the fridge and then they have a few next to like the oven and stuff and it's like every cabinet was closing like and so when I looked over the couch like my dad wasn't there and so maybe like about 45 minutes later 30 to 45 minutes later I actually hear footsteps like I actually hear the feet coming down the stairs so when I had heard it the first time it was just the wood creaking but now it was actually the feet and it was my dad. I heard his feet come down the stairs. When he got to the kitchen, the dog started barking and he told him to shut up. Like, and then um, he grabbed whatever he needed to grab and I actually heard it open and shut. And I saw him visually do it. And the noises were like different, but the same, if that makes any sense. So like I heard footsteps, but I didn't hear the feet. And then when my dad came down, I heard the footsteps and his feet or like the noises from the wood and the feet. And then when he opened the fridge, like I actually heard it open and close. Um, and he was physically standing there, you know, and the dogs actually barked at him. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is my mom's ghost that she's been talking about. So I think I briefly told a story about this in one of my random Amazon hauls, but if you're new here, I'm going to refresh you. So my mom in this house, um, <coughs> excuse me, they've lived here for quite a while. And a couple years ago in this house, like it was just like my older sister living here and I was living here and like my parents and my siblings, they all lived like my younger siblings, they all lived in a different house. So it was literally just me, me, my older sister, her kids, and my brother lived here for a little while as well. And I lived in the garage because they converted half of the garage into a room like the previous owners did. So like that's where my room was at. I didn't really hang out in the house at all. And my sister had the master bedroom and she would always say that the house was haunted. She's like, there's somebody here. And she would always like talk about it and stuff, but like nobody really took her serious. And even one time when my goddaughter was a baby, she said that Emma was talking to somebody in the dark, like it was the middle of the night, and she was talking, like looking in the dark, talking to somebody. And we all like, okay, Dizzy, whatever, like you're crazy. When I actually moved into the house, um, because then my family ended up moving back in and we had to switch bedrooms, so they put my sister into my bedroom. Um, and then they put me upstairs. I, I don't know, whatever. Long story short, I ended up getting one of the bedrooms upstairs. And one night, like I had never felt this like in the garage, but one night I had like woke up with like such a feeling that like somebody was above me staring at me, but I never saw anything. I woke up like, because I felt it, but I never saw anything. Didn't think twice about it after that. It was just like, it was kind of weird. My sister was kind of in my head because I thought back to what she said, but again, didn't really look too much into it. Last year sometime, I think it was like, maybe it was around Halloween time because I think that's when I did my Amazon haul, maybe a few months back, like around Halloween. Um, my mom told me that she, like, she's like, oh, I believe Desi now. Like there really is somebody in my house because she's been hearing somebody open and close the cabinet. She hears somebody walking around. And so my mom has described that noise before that literally this spirit goes in the kitchen and open and closes the cabinets. And she said it's around the same time every single day. And like so she's like I believe it and so she calls him Mr. O she's like oh he doesn't bother anybody he just gets ready for the day and then he goes out to work and like that's just that because she said like she's had like a vision of who this person is and she said like her vision like was like you know like a older white man like in overalls like you know close from like kind of like a different time but you can tell like he was like a farmer 
and I guess like back then like this city used to be like all farmland and stuff um and now I mean it's completely established so there's houses and stuff so my mom kind of just took it as maybe his farm used to be you know on this land and he wakes up every day at the same time and he opens and closes those cabinets maybe he's making himself breakfast and then that's it she doesn't hear from him the rest of the day and it's every day and the fact that like I actually heard it and witnessed it and I assumed because it sounded like my dad was right there. Like it sounded like my dad. I just assumed it was my dad. That's why when I poked my head up, I was just gonna tell him like, it's fine. But like there was nobody there. Like it kind of like, in a way kind of creeped me out, but like I didn't feel like, oh, I'm gonna be harmed in any way by the spirit. But it was just kind of like, it was just creepy. It was like crazy, you know, cause like, it's like if you feel somebody staring at you and you're so sure that somebody's right there and then you turn around and nobody's there like that's gonna be like what the hell so I don't know when all my siblings woke up I was like I heard Mr. O I heard Mr. O I told everybody in the house like that I heard their spirit and my mom is right he must have been making himself breakfast I don't know going through the cabinets and then that was it he left it was like, that's it, that, that's the end of my story. I don't have anything else. But yeah, so that's my little paranormal um, experience at my mom's house. Um, but yeah, I'm so tired. Like, look at like my bags under my eyes. I keep looking at myself instead of looking like at the, you know, camera. But anyways, like my bags are so deep because I got like three hours of sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep after that with my freaking throbbing infected toe who uh, the pedicure lady didn't do this to like and uh, the spirit of Mr. O I just I've been up ever since but yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh, subscribe if you haven't already and leave in the comments below if you've ever had like a freaky paranormal experience or anything like that I totally believe in spirits like yeah i i'm not one of those people that are like okay like whatever you're crazy no i believe in it especially after witnessing it today i don't think my sister's crazy i don't think my mom's crazy like not at all and i said it a few months back too in the other video like i felt you know somebody staring or somebody you know like a presence but today i heard it i don't know thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye